hey what's up everyone so today in this video we are going to learn photoshop touch and every important feature of photoshop touch let's see what it can do this is why you are watching in-depth tutorial of photoshop touch let's get into the video I'm using uh, one of my projects for this demonstration. So let's select this one. So on the right downside, we have option, options of layers. You can see all of my layers here. Like for example, layers are used to import images like click on the plus button and click on photo layer, photo library and you can import any of your photo like this one can you see this is a use of photo library this is how you can add a photo and to move this photo you just have to select the layer of that image and then click on end button and transform here you go you can move it and you can resize it from these edges you can increase the size and the size as you can see and you can also flip up it upside down or left side right like flip by or flip apps as you can see so on the left bottom side we have our tool this is multi selection tool this is used to attend to literally select any part of the image as you can see And this is the same tool but with circle this is a lesser selection tool I I would recommend it to use it with show pointer option on see yeah we, we can select it like this and our next tool is poly selection tool this is a useful tool you can you can use it by making lines like as you can see this is selected so if you ask what does selection mean selection mean only that part of this image is selected and you can clear that part like this or you can extract that part like this or you can copy and paste that part like this as you can see this layer you will know more about selection by regularly using Photoshop our next tool is magic wand this is another useful tool first let's deselect the selection from here you can deselect the selected pixels let's hide our pointer tool by magic selection it is pretty useful tool like you may be heard about you may have heard about a lot like you can easily select images or any object in photoshop this is how it's done this is magic magic one tool like i want to select this aeroplane I, all i have to do is it on it and it is selected but the whole other area which is also that layer of that aeroplane is selected so what we have to do first we have to deselect it then we have to turn on this option continuous and now when we select this aeroplane Be selected, but still, 
we have to adjust the tolerance see now it's easy but still as you can see the other person is been selected that's fine this is stable selection tool and is this is another useful selection tool using this you can easily select any object just color that key part on the object you want to select and click on remove and color every other thing around it as you can see it is selected easy this is brush brush let's um, and create selection tool this is not as useful as other selection tool I personally don't really use it that much but it's also a um, great useful tool now have you covered press to press I would recommend to first create an empty layer and you can okay you can press anything you want you can choose color any color light blue brush this is just a brush this is effect brush it have different effects as you can see we'll talk about effects later this is spray tool and this is eraser you know you all know what eraser means don't you we select this layer or let me if we select this layer and want to erase some part of it this is how we do it easy next tool is clone clone stamp tool and you can use it like I want to clone this airplane I have to click on source, click here and brush it here. As you can see, now we have two plans. It's that simple. Next is healing tool. Like if I want to hide this plan, it don't work as good as apps like touch retouch, but it's still fine. This is blur tool, you can easily blur stuff with this. Next we have smuddle tool. Yeah, this is how it works. Now these are also some important features. Trappy, so pointer, clear, slat all, slat pixels. Trap is simply if we like select this area and we want to cut and paste it again somewhere else this is how we do it and other other options are like copy you can copy and paste feather this is an important feature you can you can you can blur the edges like to make it a little more smooth tool I already told you what show pointer is abstract transform transform is like when you want to adjust the height or I would say size width of any selection let an extra and unload the aspect ratio and now you can increase the height width anything you want and this is snap tool by often snap tool uh, there will be no an alignment magnet right you can center your selection but with snap as you can see it's more easy to 
center or slatter our, our selection or any image and there is an option to expand to increase the size of our selection like a little bit or you can also de-expand like inwards you know what I mean and then we have adjustments it's like if you want to invert a color of image or if you want to make it black and white increase the saturation or decrease the saturation out of it is also an option it looks brilliant with out of it you see levels you can manually level every color like the highs mids and lows there's brightness and contrast if you want to change the exposure or contrast you know what I mean temperature to make it more blue tone or yellow tone replace color you can replace any color like you can replace was first select uh, the sample color you want to replace and then change color with the color you want to as you can see I, I changed blue with green as you can increase the threshold you see Then we have tears. I don't know much about tears, but if you know how to use it, you can use it. It's also about highs, lows, and mids. We have shadows and highlights, darker tones, shadows. As you can see, we can improve some dark areas, lights, highlights. You can do many things. You can see the difference. Color balance. You see, it's super useful. And noise reduction. I don't use it. All, uh, I don't use it at all, but it can be useful. And then we have our effects. Basic blur, most useful one. Then we have directional blur. Yep. And there are other options. I will only talk about the most important effects. There is drop shadow. I, I can demonstrate drop, drop shadow with this image. This layer selected. You can drop shadow. You see, we can easily handle our shadow and blur it and increase the distance. It looks super. You don't have to use all the effects in an image, just enough. There is last effect. Now, this, there are tons of effects. We can drop our image light with our pixels, like if you want to make it square, then it will turn out. See now it's just very nice. Size of the image. If in Photoshop you have limited amount of layers, it depends on the resolution. So you can decrease the resolution while working in a project with this option. We can rotate lens flares. We have how is seven? There are since six options for some lens flares classic photoshop then we have test options i don't use it because you can use custom fonts although it is quite cool to have then we have wrap like 3d or something camera fail not recommended not useful 
like in fills throat if you have an empty layer and you want to you want an empty layer of a solid color you just have to create an empty layer and then fill and store da 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 you just have a empty layer with solid color you you will need it and it's easy to use you can do that with gradient too these are gradients then we have fade option or last option and if we select if we want to fade our test this is how we can do it like if there would be a moonlight or something we can easily do this effect so i think that's all for this video thanks a lot for watching it hopefully you will like it and appreciate it and see you next time peace out